Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be using stencils and creating really simple abstract figures with them in our journal. But first of all, we're starting off making a background. For the stencils I'm using today, I knew they had a bit of a serene, moody feel to them, which I wanted to recreate in my background. So I'm using one of my favourite colour combinations, which is this um, grey blue colour which is called mineral and um, marine which is sort of like a petroly blue colour and blushing in the background with a little bit of turquoise added in as well. It's just such a beautiful um, calm colour. I'm very much a blues person, very much this sort of colour combination person so this sort of really appeals to me. Once I've blended all the colours together I just got my stipula or pencil, gave a bit of a spritz um, to get this sort of bled out line in the background. Again, I'm going to be, um, what you calling it, stenciling over the top. So I just wanted colour in the background basically. Um, I'm using a very pale pink colour and um, adding in some stenciling over it too with this gorgeous loopy stencil. So everything's very delicate, which again is not very much like me, but you know, these things happen occasionally. I, I can be delicate occasionally. So all the stencils I'm using today are from Natalie May Scrapbooking in Australia. Um, a new release she released just before, uh, halfway through December. Um, so she has been doing a great job. One of the things I love about them is not only have you got these gorgeous face um, stencils on them, they're also any waste, not wasted space because it's not wasted on these, is taken up with patterns, which I absolutely adore. So um, it's a really great way to make sure that every part of your stencil is being used. So with my um, figures, um, quite unusually, instead of having them looking at each other, they're looking away from each other. Uh, usually in my compositions I would have them sort of feeding into each other I suppose a little bit and all I'm doing once I've stenciled out their faces is drawing a really simple shape over the top. Then I got some um, text, uh, vintage text, and I'm just cutting out a body with that. So I wanted something that would contrast with the background. And I'm basically using that to create some clothing for my two figures. I'm going in with my gel medium and just pasting it down. You can see at the edges where I've had the um, stipula or pencil that it's bled in a little bit, which I don't mind because that gives it a little bit of shading. I also, um, with the figure, you noticed I went over some of the hair so I was able to just take my stencil and go back in and re-stencil over it. So that's a great thing about using stencils as well. Um, you can go back in and re-stencil at any stage and it makes it really really easy. So you can see now I've got that gorgeous background and then I have got um, the sort of this the um, vintage text which blends in because it's got that gorgeous creamy colour. Um, I've then decided I'm going to use the patterns that came with the, the face stencils to create the clothing for my figures. So again, sort of using every piece of what comes with the stencil, which is really, really handy. Once I've dried everything out, then I'm just going in and I decided I wanted to um, make a vignette type um, page. So I'm just putting a little bit more of that marine around the edges just to darken it up somewhat. Um, Again, sort of to put the spotlight back on the, the figures in the center. I'm then going in with a little bit of um, or some mic making stamps. This is an X's and O's stamp um, to give a little bit of contra black contrast in the background. With my figures, I did have the stipula oil pencil there um, to begin with, but I actually went in with my intense, my blue intense pencil. Um, just to give a little bit of a bluish hue to the, um, the figures and you can sort of see there it works very much like the stipula oil pencil the difference is once it's water activated it, um, it then becomes permanent whereas the stipula oil pencil once it's activated or it can continue to be activated sorry um, so uh, if you want to have a similar effect I suppose it's a stipula or pencil, but you want it to be permanent, and um, that's where you would use your intense pencils, which you can get from most places. Some news agents sell them. I know in Australia you can get them in Office Works as well, so they're just really handy. And I think 
I think. You can buy them individually as well, so you don't have to buy a full set because they are expensive. I think they're Faber-Castell, but um, I think you can go in and buy, you know, a black and a brown and a blue, if those are the colours you want to use for shadows, um, to have in your, your kit. I'm just going in with my white um, pen as I do and doing some scritchy scratchy um, sketching around my um, what you call them stenciled shapes my brain is not working this morning <laughs> just again to add a little bit of extra patterning to them the faces themselves are quite dark um, because I haven't added any additional colour to them so I am going in with a little bit of white just to help pop them out from the background a little bit um, but by just stenciling straight over the background you do get that very moody effect from it and yes I've got some scribbles in their faces but that's okay too um, I am going to go in and put in some cheeks using my paint pen just to sort of make sure that they pop out a little bit because I don't have eyes, obviously they've got eyes but their eyes are closed, you don't have the whites of the eyes to sort of give a focal point on it, I often if that's the case I will put in a, um, a cheek just to sort of remind your eye as you're looking at it that yes it is a face. And I've just sprinkled some um, white ink in the background, I also did a really great job and got my um, iPad completely covered. I just need to watch where I do my white ink pad because it's gone missing <laughs> I can't find it anymore. I've got these gorgeous star stamps because it did very much remind me sort of of that starry night and I really love how they came up in the background. Then I'm cutting out a heart. Um, this is some collage papers that I've had sitting on my stash for a while so I um, popped a heart in. I didn't put it on the second figure, I usually put them on both but because they're completely sort of turned around um, and made it a bit harder to work out where I would put a heart on that that figure without it looking a little bit odd so um, I know they're abstract but I still think about these things <laughs> then I've decided to put a quote on the page and the good thing about this is around both figures I have got that space on the outside to write something you can see also I'm not worried about writing through my figure particularly on the body because for me the quote is the bit that ties it all together the faces are still kept um, clear so to speak so if it goes into the body of the the figure that's an unimportant bit for me so it doesn't really matter so I've got the quote some souls um, just understand each other upon meeting for the first time which I really loved and um, they seem very, con even though they're facing different directions, they seem very content with each other, which I liked. It's sort of like intro introverts unite, you've got your own space, but you understand each other, um, which is something I relate to very, very much. So once I've thickened up my lines with my paint pen, then I'm just going to go in with my white pen just to do a bit of a drop shadow on it and push it out from the background. Um, it's very delicate um, doing that, but it does make a difference, it, you know, when you actually see it um, in, in real life, it does really make that, um, each of those words, each of those letters pop out from the background. So, you know, if you find you want to up your, your font writing, try putting some um, either highlights or drop shadows on your letters and it'll just make such a huge difference to what you're doing. So here is a close-up of the page. You can see those beautiful moody colours in the background, how those figures are really easy to create with the, um, just cutting out the text and using the stenciling over the top to help um, measure where you need to go and then popping the quote around the outside. Simple, simple, simple. Um, and of, of course you could do it with any face stencils um, you wanted to um, and it worked just the same. So I hope you have a go. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.